Okay, let me say this one. Yes, Please, yes. let me say this one. You know, when we do the quorum court, we there's rigor, and I came here tonight so that I can find out some specific things. I have to do that my way. And I have a way to do that. And I can't, I don't want to conform to the rigor similar to the court, and that is saying that I can speak. I really do need a little well, bit of laxity. And it, yes, thank you, if you don't mind. And, and I just want to make a suggestion. While I was talking, while John was talking, you were raising your hand, and there were some others, but you raised your hand first, and I think you wanted to. You had some more to say in reference to what he said. No, I want to see uh, I'd like to commend the attorney for CAW and the employee of CAW for continually being able to turn it back <laughs> to a pristine water issue. Now they want to stipulate that water is pristine. I would like to stipulate there is no pristine water. And we can just disagree on that. But I know fish swim in the water. <laughs> Out at Lake Maumelle, they want to say, you guys give up all your border along the creeks while Mr. Vogelpohl has 150 horses and, and gravel lines, and there's boats, and I don't, I like to fish, and I have motorboated out on Lake Long Island and caught a nice big fish. But I want to know what are they going to do to stop people from using oil and motorboats and throwing beer cans? <coughs> And when they get to the far end of the lake, they have to relieve themselves. What are you doing about continuing to keep the pristine waters you say exist when I know they don't? So you're saying Lake Maumelle is, is poor quality water? Is that just oh, no. I listened to the um, US, USGS or whoever came and did a, a presentation. I was absolutely astonished at the 180 degrees difference that you guys say we must do and they say we've got the best water in the whole country. Yet you guys want to charge all of us extra for the water quality that we have that was there before you guys showed up. Now you want to take that extra money and buy up people's property, including Mr. Vogelpohl here or whatever the price is. But you can keep the property, but you can't use it. And if I bought 100 acres, let's say $10,000 an acre, I don't know what the value is out there. I'd have a million dollars in the property. And some of the stuff that I've heard you guys present, in some instances, SEC, SF programs or stuff, and they will lay the land, you can lose as much as 60% of your property because you guys want to preserve it, the pristine water. I finally give up. I don't want to sell my 100 acres. I don't think anybody's going to come and give me a million dollars for 60% of the property that they can use, not the 100%. I think mean, you guys are sort of off base. I understand you make good salaries. Well, what is your name? But these people, I don't live out in West of Echo County. These people's property is being severely impacted. And I'm here representing them as a, a citizen, not in the West. I live in Pulaski County. But what they do out in West Pulaski County doesn't stay in West Pulaski County. I'd like to know what you're going to do about the motorboats and all the fishing and all the activity and oil pollution that goes on the surface of the water that you guys are supposed to be responsible for. <coughs> what are you going to do about it? Close the helmet. And after he replies, the gentleman in the yellow said, this end up a long, long time. Let me, let me, 